All right, guys, so just for fun, if you have been following along with me this entire seven days of sourcing, and if you have a guess about how much profit we're gonna end up having on this seven days, go ahead and put that guess in the description. Let me know the closest person that gets to that profit amount once we get everything into Inventory Lab is gonna win something awesome. <laughs> What's going on guys? Josh from EverydayFBA.com here and today is day number seven, the final day of my seven day sourcing series and today we're outside a library book sale. So last night was preview night. I didn't get to make it then but we're here on Wednesday morning about to go in here and scan what we can to see whatever profits we can find. It's a library book sale so books are generally 50 cents to two dollars DVDs and CDs, probably around the same. So I'm gonna go in and see how much profit I can find in the allotted time. So I've been giving myself about an hour to hour, 15 minutes in each store. So I'll follow that same rule at the library bookstore and see how much profit we can get. All right guys, so we're inside this library book sale. Not a huge selection here. It's kind of a small room, but there's still plenty of books to scan the CDs and DVDs. We're in the very front. So I'll head back to those in just a little bit and start there, but just wanted to give you guys a view of what the library sale looked like. Right here in this little corner are textbooks and computer and reference books. So this is always a good place to start is in that textbook section, educational section. From there I move on to, you know, history, religion and go through the line, skipping the, you know, romance and the uh, fiction books. So yeah, just a quick glimpse of this sale. I'm on my way to head out and pay now. How you doing? Hi, how are you? All right, guys, so here's what we got. We got about 18 CDs and DVDs and three books, and two of those books are actually children's books. So a decent haul inside, about 20 items, mostly CDs and DVDs. Again, I did manage to find three books. Two of those were children's books. One of them was a pop-up children's book. If you guys don't know about pop-up children's books, check them out. Every once in a while, you get some free time. You're done scanning regular books. Head over to the kids section and start scanning so you learn what kind of kids' books are profitable. Pop-up books are just one of them. But anyways, only three books there, which is okay. Not great for going to a library book set. We've got a lot of CDs and DVDs, so that's awesome. Uh, like I said, last night was the preview sale. I could not make it to the preview sale. And the preview sale is really where you want to go. It's usually just for friends of the library. But if you can make it out to one of those, join the friends of the library, go out to the preview sale, and you're going to get access to pretty much everything before anyone else does. Profits in this haul were not extraordinary. We didn't find any $20 or $30 profits. We did find a lot of five, six, sevens, and we found about four or five ten dollars profits. So altogether, I would say that the profit here at this library book sale is going to be around the $150 to $200 mark. So like I said, this is day seven of the seven day series. That's it. We are done for seven days. We have went out to one store and sourced for about an hour in time to scan all the media items and pull out all the profit. So now that we're at the end, we can get everything, throw it all into the inventory lab, get it ready to ship out and really look at the numbers. We're going to look at the buy cost. We're going to look at the average rank. We're going to look at how many units I actually got in all, how much profit there is and how much return on investment there is going to be in this seven days of sourcing. All right, guys, so just for fun, if you have been following along with me this entire seven days of sourcing, and if you have a guess about how much profit we're going to end up having on this seven days, go ahead and put that guess in the description. Let me know the closest person that gets to that profit amount once we get everything into Inventory Lab is going to win something awesome. So I'm not quite sure what that prize is going to be. It could be a gift card. It could be just a PayPal payment. I'll send some cash over to you. Something, maybe it's going to be access to some of my trainings. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but if you have a guess, go ahead and put that amount inside the comment section and we'll see who wins this prize stay tuned for that profit reveal video i'll see you guys there yeah.